Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today we are going to learn how to integrate Salesforce with Google Address Validation API. Google Address Validation API will help you to uh, correct the address and bring additional information, for example, county, residence, is it residential address, business address, PO box, and few other USPS related information. Uh, for let, let me give an overview before we move forward. So if you look at uh, this shipping address, I make numerous of error like shipping, county, street, and all. And let me remove this from here. Let's save this. And to make a call out, there is a quick actions. When I click on this uh, button, this is doing a call back call out at the back end and bringing the additional information so this is the original address and if you look at here the street address you will see uh, the changes as well as correction on the city and also in the uh, zip code as well as bringing additional information and uh, if you want uh, allow user to accept and keep original so uh, i am i am going to click on the confirm which is allow me to use the uh, verified address from Google and this is all created in Salesforce flows I have used uh, LWC component for a screen flow these are the buttons but uh, if you want to keep it very simple you can have a checkbox here and click on the next button so you can say user can select one checkbox and click on the next button and that's all so again just to make it UI looks very beautiful I have I created a custom button but you don't need this if you want to make it low code so as soon as I click on the confirm uh, this will update the information and if you look at here this information get updated here we have the county and uh, residential address uh, business address or PO box is updated accordingly so now to get started first you have to understand uh, Google validation API uh, go to this URL I will drop this URL in the chat uh, in, in YouTube video as well as my blog post which is number 178 and uh, you can read more about the address validation api like how you can make the request response what it needs to be included in the request body is how what is the response body looks like and what is the uh, url looks like for a https post call out so make sure that read this documentation this is self-explanatory and then um, before once you understand this then you have to take the next step and before you take the next step you have to you have to create a google a project in google cloud console and get the api key so it should look like this and you can uh, once you click on the show key you will grab the key from here so this is the prerequisite so if you want to connect salesforce with google address validation api you have to set up all this and you can find all this detailed information in the blog post number 178 on my website automationchampion.com so make sure that you set up the Google Cloud Console project, grab the Google Maps API key, and then you can take the next step. Uh, Google offer 90 days free checkout, I think free checkout for $300, and then uh, uh, it will charge. So you can read all this documentation. For authentication purposes, uh, Google all offer OAuth, like if I create a new credentials, you will see there is a service account, OAuth, or API key. So to keep, keep this, uh, implementation simple I am going to use API keys but uh, you can feel free to use the way that you want to authenticate all right and there are another prerequisite before you create uh, uh, the Salesforce flows first is a call out URL which we already have this is very important when you, if because we want to create a name credential as well as when you configure the post uh, HTTPS post then uh, request body so you need the request body so Salesforce will generate uh, and in uh, service uh, external services and uh, invocable actions and re response body so these are the prerequisites so first get the api key you have the url which is good next uh, you you have the body request body which is we needed uh, to uh, uh, configure the https post and then response body once you have all this i think you are good to start the requirement is very simple as i give you the demo here whenever uh, an account is created or updated or display a button here this is quick access and you can make it dynamic so you can say okay whenever a uh, shipping street is there then only make this call out so you can so hide the button based on whatever you want now what we want is we want to allow them to uh, verify the shipping address in this scenario 
and bring additional information like county, is it a PO box or residential address and business address so that we can uh, plan the shipping accordingly. So the first thing is go and create a name credential. So now I'm using the legacy name credential, but you can create legacy a uh, name credential 2.0, which is uh, recommended to use. Uh, so create a name credential and if you look at here the first part of this call out URL I have used in the name credential so and it is anonymous no authentication required but for this now then let's go ahead and create a couple of fields for example county this is the text then we have to create a field called as PO box which is going to be checkbox uh, residential address as well as business addresses these are the checkbox all right so this is the second step so now once we have all this we will go ahead and create a flow i have two version of the flow one with checkbox and one with the button that i gave the demo i will go with both and show you how you can configure one versus another so the first thing first uh, you have to create a screen flow this is all pre-configured but i will create a post action one more time to give you a demo but i don't want to go through this and create one more time but it's very straightforward First, create a variable record ID because we are calling this flow from the quick action. So we need this record ID, the record ID of the calling account. So if you create a variable record ID, Salesforce will automatically pass the record ID. And here we are doing a simple get element saying, hey, get account, give me the current account where ID equal to this and bring all this field from this account. <coughs> and then next step is to construct the uh, body but before that we have to configure the HTTPS post so what you need we have all the information in our notepad here so we will use this so first click on this action and click on the post call out give the name I can say uh, Google address validation API and the name credential this is address validation API next uh, give the label this is for invocable accents I can say verify address and then this is going to be post and then the URL uh, look at here uh, we have to post this URL till here and then add key uh, because if you look at this URL we have a parameter key so you have to configure this key and this is going to be in a string required now next is a sample request to so click on the new and go to the notepad and you can copy all the sample request from the request or response from the blog post 78 178 so copy this paste and say post will provide okay so body is missing this sorry all right so this is Salesforce generated the data structure and then response Again, I'm going to copy this, but this time I will not make a mistake, so I will remove this. So copy this, it's gonna be easy. And you can click on the save. I'm skipping this because I have already created. So, so once you click the uh, create the action, click on the save and come back to this screen. The next is construct the body. So now if you look at the body here, the address line is an array which is basically a list a collection so we have to populate all this before we directly call the actions here so now the next step is we created a straight shipping address which is at equivalent to the address line in the google request body as a collection now go here and populate everything so shipping address is basically my shipping street and the address line is basically if you look at this address line here uh, this is equal to my shipping address and then locality is going to be basically shipping city postal code is basically the zip code shipping zip code regional code is nothing but shipping country and shipping street you can feel free to and uh, this is basically administrative area equal to shipping state feel free to uh, modify all this uh, configuration as needed in your case and click on the done now to call this uh, Action. go to the action and uh, we give the action name verify address otherwise select the action name you give uh, in the con HTTPS post configuration so uh, you can bring this here and next configure this so address is basically nothing but the address this is 
FX define address okay and then key is basically I have a variable to hide my key uh, string variable nothing uh, nothing complicated so but one thing that I miss here in the previous stage is this address is nothing but fx define address okay so this is fx define variable this is not a standard variable so when you go configure it you have to select the, this variable okay so fx define variable so don't don't don't, don't wonder like where it, from where we create this variable is coming because we never define it salesforce automatically create it when we are configuring the HTTPS post so once you have this we will do the call out here now once we receive the response uh, you can check if it's like response equals to 200 it means success otherwise it is error uh, you can add all the uh, response error from uh, 178 i have uh, put all the response uh, response code error code from the google uh, documentation and if it's an error then create go ahead and create a task which is go ahead uh, create a record and select how many record one record separate variables and then description is gonna be uh, nothing but you can select the https call out uh, default exception assign it to account owner set the priority as you need it make sure that you you connect this uh, task to the account id as well as subject lines would be the response code feel free to modify this as you need it and next uh, display accents so this is with the checkbox as i mentioned earlier i have two versions of this flow one with checkbox and one with the lwc button so now next is add a screen component just clicking on here and click on add a screen component so when you add a screen component now there are two sections this is a section four column section so drag and drop sections and make it four column i'm leaving the first and fourth column empty and then this is nothing but a display text so display text is used to display information in the read only and uh, this is bold text and then i'm bringing all this information from account and this is the recommended address which is coming from the https response for example if you if you want go here and salesforce will provide you the response here so go and select the result and you say okay i need formatted address which is this address likewise uh, i configure the county uh, from the usps data from the response po box and business address in uh, you see here residential address is hard coded false because i forgot to configure in my uh, uh, first time when i configured uh, in the in the request body uh, response body to include a residential address so that's why sales that's why sales does not generate an outcome for this one so but if you use the json json response that i gave you uh, it you will be able to use the residential address now in here if you look at this i have another section of which has two check boxes one for keep original and and confirm basically if you want to confirm let's confirm this and keep it original and next is very simple i am you checking here whether you just want to confirm if yes if confirm it check then uh take the next step otherwise we don't have to take any any further action on this one so if it's true then i'll add then update a statement saying okay hey i want to update this account where id equals to the record id and i want to update all this like shipping address shipping address postal shipping postal code shipping a street street business address county uh, po box and residential address as i mentioned earlier it is hard coded because when i configure the first time uh, my response body not included the residential address so that's why salesforce does not uh, have any outcome for this one but if you use uh, the my response that i mentioned in 178 blog post you have this one and now go to, <coughs> go to the https call out and use this postal uh, locality uh, i provided the mapping so you can go here https call out response result address postal address and locality so likewise you can use for the shipping <coughs> a region code for the shipping county you can also you can also use for postal code for postal code and other mappings you can find it on uh, the blog post like for example business address it is available at the meta the county is available coming from the result usps data county so this is basically here this result and usps data and type county here so you will get the county i think that's all here so now when i run this 
So before that I have to copy this URL. So now to test this I am going to pass the ID. So you can see here user can select one or other checkbox and click on the next and confirm. Let's move to the another version of it. So another version only has difference here is I am using buttons. This is the LWC button that I created, which has a couple of parameters like API name, label, name, and variant. A user can select only one, and I'm not displaying a footer so that <coughs> user is not confused which button he has he or she has to choose. So and now here i have a parameters which is custom button value i'm checking the button value if it's confirmed then take the next action otherwise if user say okay i don't want to use this which is basically keep original then i don't want to take further action so that's only difference and once you configure this way i will drop youtube channel description as well as in my blog post and this will look like this Alright, to summarize this, it is very very straightforward. First, you have to understand this documentation, so understand what is the request and response looks like in your case. <coughs> what kind of authentication mechanism you want to use, API, uh, service account or OAuth 2.0. And then set up the Google Cloud account, grab the Google Maps API key for that credential way that you want to configure and grab the, have this key. And last but not least, you have the and call out URL, which is really important to uh, configure the name credential at, as well as HTTPS post, uh, request body, which required for configuring HTTPS post, as well as uh, or, uh, sorry, request body and response body. And if you look at here, this 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 I was talking about. So when I initially configured, I did not pass this like my response body looks like this, and that's why I suppose does not have any uh, variable to configure the residential address. And that's pretty much everything. Uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, and I'm happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do so. I'm planning to post a video more frequently. Thank you so much for all your support and love. Have a nice day.